What's going on guys, Junior Tech here back with another one. Now, if you remember the video I did the other day regarding the ergonomic mouse, which was great, and I'm still yet to use it, I'm still using MX Master, because I'm trying to find a bit of a different version of the one that I reviewed yesterday, uh, the other day, but which was still an amazing mouse. Uh, today we're looking at a different one. Today we're looking at a gaming mouse from TechNet. Now, I always see these products on Amazon, and you know, they've always got uh, thousands of reviews, and I'm always wondering, how good actually are they? Do I need to spend 60, 70, 80 pounds upwards to 100 pounds on a mouse? Or can I just get a cordless TechNet, TechNet gaming mouse? Well, today's video we're going to find out. So let's go. So now we're on screen. First thing we need to do is go over to VIP SCD key and click on the first link. So here we are. I'm logged in. We've got it set to Great British Pounds because I'm in the UK at the moment and we're going to see what we've got. As we can see already Great British Pounds, the Windows 10 is already reduced from £39.43 down to £14.49. But we have an amazing deal going on this month. So we have two different deals. From the 1st of this month to the 15th, there is a deal going on for the 1111. And this is going to allow you to get an extra amount of a discount on top of the already discounted price. Now, all the links will be in the description. So you can head down below and actually check them out. Click on the links and you'll be able to get this for a much, much cheaper price. So I'm going to go for the process now and actually show you how you can do this. And just to prove to you how cheap it actually is. So as we can see there, I've typed in SKJT and it's already taken off a discount and we are now down to £10 and 14 pence. You are not going to find a better price for a Windows 10 Pro OEM key than this. So after you've done that, all we need to do is go to submit order and then you can choose the, uh, choose the way you want. I always go for PayPal because I use it all the time. So we're going to go on PayPal. I'm going to click on buy now and I'll be back in a minute. So there is my order and what we're actually going to do is I'm going to show you how to get your key and actually where to go to actually activate it. So as soon as you've done that on the right it says view keys and codes. So I'm going to give that a click and as we can see on the bottom it says submitted, it's been paid, it's been processed, it's complete. From here all I need to do is say get the key. So I'm going to click on get the key. Don't worry the uh, key is going to be blurred out. That's just on my screen. On your guys screens it won't be blurred out. So I'm going to click on get the key. And as we as we can see, we have a few things. So we have our number, we have time, and we have our key in the center. What we need to do is highlight the key there. Right click on it and click on copy. So from here, all we need to do is go over to Windows settings and actually try and activate it. So now on my settings, um, what I'm going to do is in the top right hand corner, I'm going to type in activation. So act. And then we've got activation settings there. I'm going to click on that. I'm going to click change uh, product key. I'm going to click on change. And where it says enter the product key, all I'm going to do is press Ctrl and V. It's going to paste the product key that we got from before. I'm going to click on next. And what it's going to do is actually check to see if it is a genuine key. So I'm going to click on activate. It's going to go for the process. And there we go. We just got Windows 10 Pro OEM key for about £10. Now before when I was talking about the amazing sales they have going on this month from the first two weeks to the last two weeks, there were some different discount codes going on. This is also adequate for the Office 2016 Super Sale as well. Now this is the 1111 uh, Super Sale. This is going to allow you to get an additional 30% off if you use the discount code SKJT. Now like I said, we're going to go for the process as we can see here. This was a $230 pack. It is now down to $33. If I go over to buy now, go over to the promotion code and type in SKJT, click on apply. That's going to give you an extra 30% on your already discounted discounted price and you're going to be able to get this for 17 pound and seven pence so i'm going to go grab this now now vip scd key do offer so many more things they're not only a, an official platform for windows 10 pro oem keys you've got your steam origin you play playstation pc and even gift cards you also have your playstation gift cards and you also have pc games these keys are absolutely phenomenal but as always don't forget to use the discount code skjt for 30 percent off windows 10 pro oem keys and even office 2016 you will not regret it it is an amazing discounted price and there is some amazing deals going on this month so if you want to go check any of these out head down the links in the description there's a full set of links there so you can go check them out and remember skjt so guys this is what we're looking at today so this is the technet cordless mouse and it says it's certified packaging and uh, frustration free so i like the sound of that already now, a lot of companies now do come with these basic boxes, which is pretty nice. You know, you don't really need all that extra stuff that goes on outside the box. 
it just gets a little bit tedious. What is this? So that is in another language, I don't understand that. So we do get a small little user manual here. This pretty much is just gonna pretty much tell you what you need to do, uh, which is nothing exciting. And then we have the mouse ourselves. Now, relatively is quite a nice gaming mouse. We have the more gaming vibe going on. You know, we have the different shapes from the clickers all the way back to the side of the mouse. And then it relatively is quite nice. So on the back here, we do have a little stand here, which will be for the batteries. So the batteries will go in this one. Yes, this one is battery operated as well, which isn't an issue, a lot of them are. And then we also have our little receiver going in there, a little USB receiver, which can sit in there if you're not using it, or say if you're on the go, that can just pop straight in there and you're good to go. Now we do have the sensor here on the left hand side, that is the sensor, so when it is on, that's gonna sense where you're actually putting the mouse, especially when it comes to the game, and you want it to be as accurate as possible to get the best gaming experience. And then we also do have the on off switch and also an LED switch. So there is a small amount of RGB that will be shining through uh, the little scroll here, which is nice to see uh, for, especially for something like this, which is a, a budget mouse. Now on the bottom, we do have uh, several feet. So we have five little rubber feet going on here. This is gonna allow it so when you're actually moving around either on a plane desk or a mouse mat, it's gonna allow you to get a smooth feel and relatively, relatively is quite a nice smooth feel, which I do actually like. And that's pretty much what that's gonna do. It's gonna allow you to get a bit of a smoother feel. You know, a lot of mice out there, they do have this entire thing and then you can swap them out for different times like magnetic, magnetic pouches and all that. But you don't really need that for someone on a budget. Now on the side here, we do have three DPI switches. Predominantly, these will be your forward and back button. And then we do have another button. It does have a little icon on the bottom there. I'm not sure if you can see that. It looks like a little aiming tag. So I suppose if you're doing first, uh, first person shooting, this relatively is gonna be quite good. You can uh, hot swap that out for whatever you want. Again, we have two more DPI switches on the top, which is nice to see. So if you're predominantly gonna be using your mouse for majority of your actions, then you can pretty much uh, mod this out to anything you want. And then we do have the scroll wheel as well. So very, very much a basic scroll wheel. We have the rubber friction pads on the top here, so it's not gonna change or it's not gonna spin out of control, which is nice to see. And then the right and left clickers, which are which are very tactile, I have to admit. And you know, some people like the noise, some people don't, some people prefer a more of a silent mouse. Me, I don't really mind. I like to hear the click, so I know that I've actually pressed it down, if you know what I mean. But I have to say, relatively is a really nice gaming mouse. It is very low profile, I have to say, so if I was gonna be using this, it would take me a little while to get used to, because I'm used to the MX Master Pro. And you know, predominantly that is quite a larger mouse. So, you know, this is something I definitely have to get to, hit fit to but relatively fits in your hand very nice. So I suppose if you are looking for a budget gaming mouse and you can't afford, you know, 60, 70, 80 up to 100 pound mice, which I don't see the point in paying that, I definitely would recommend this from Technet. I've had a few of their products in the past and you know, relatively, they actually never fail me. So I have to admit, good job with a gaming mouse. It really is nice. So there we go, guys. That was the gaming mouse from Technet. Yes, it's basic. It looks basic. It's just all black. You know, there's a couple of bits here and there that they've done, which is quite nice. But it's got plenty of DPI switches on. It's got three on the side. It's got two on the top. You've got your scroll wheel and relatively feels relatively nice. They've got plenty of support on the bottom, which is going to allow for long use and wear and tear, which is nice to see. And, you know, surprisingly, it did all right. There's a few switches on the bottom where you know you've got your on-off switches and then you've got your LEDs if you're really interested in having RGB and everything lit up. And surprisingly fits quite nice in my hand. See, I'm used to the MXS, uh, the MX Master, which is quite a chunky mouse, so my hand normally predominantly sits quite higher. But, you know, after I think after a few takes, this relatively will be a really good mouse. So, if you yourself are looking for a gaming mouse on a budget, if you head down the link in the description, there'll be a link there so you can go check one out for yourself. And as always, thank you very much for today's sponsor, which was VIP SCDK. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my videos.